Thank you. <laughs> guys today. Um, it's Miss Lori's story time and today we are doing, actually we're doing what I was had intended to do next week because next week is when autumn begins. But my supplies for the craft for this week didn't come in until yesterday. So I sort of switched them around. So we're going to do that craft and that program next week and we're doing the autumn program today. So my first story is called, Fall is Not Easy. Winter is easy, branches are bare. The snow starts to melt and springs in the air. You can see the little bird nest there. Springtime is easy. Green leaves start to grow. It's always good when that happens after a long, cold winter. You see some color again. The spring rains are followed by the summer sun's glow. Summer is easy. Just bask in the sun. The breezes blow cooler and summer is done. That's it, next week, summer is done. Fall is not easy, it's time for a change. What kind of changes happen in the fall, do you know? It gets cooler. Green leaves turn colors, but mine all look strange. What are some of the colors that they change to? They start green. Well, <laughs> that isn't right, and that's just all wrong. I don't think you see, see too many trees like that, but it would be cool. <laughs> the rainbow tree and the smiley face tree. My colors won't go where I think they belong. What's going on here? <laughs> Mine leaves should be fire, all brilliant and bright. But what are they? Look at, what is that? It's a hamburger. And can you tell what this is if you look a little close? It looks like the earth. Planet Earth, you can sort of make out the planets in the ocean. I mean, the, the countries in the ocean, sorry. And I try and I try, but they won't come out right. Definitely not. <laughs> and just when my patience begins to wear thin, <laughs> My leaves all fall off and winter blows in. Winter is easy. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, action rhyme with called Gray Squirrel. And you can do all the moves in it. Let's see what it's called. Um, actually, we're going to do brown squirrel because that's what I have is a brown squirrel. <laughs> so we're going to say, brown squirrel, brown squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Put a nap between your toes. Wrinkle up your little nose. Brown squirrel. Brown squirrel, swish your 
push your bushy tail. Okay, I want you to do that with me. And yes, I get the squirrel. <laughs> okay. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, swoosh your bushy tail. <laughs> brown squirrel, brown squirrel, swoosh your bushy tail. Put a nut between your toes. Wrinkle up your little nose. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, swoosh your bushy tail. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, and one more. Over there. All right. Now my next story is called "When the Leaves Blew In" because in fall the leaves fall on the ground, and then when the wind blows, it swishes them around and swooshes them back, and then you have to break them up into a big pile, and then you get to jump in them and then start all over again. <laughs> okay. So when the leaves blew. When the leaf flew in, the cow sneezed. Achoo! When the cow sneezed, achoo! The spider landed on the owl. When the spider landed on the owl, the owl swooped out of the barn. You can see the spider on the owl's tail. It's going for a ride. When the owl swooped out of the barn, the pig dove into the mud. That's what pigs do. Spider still on the owl's tail? Yes, it is. Still right there on the owl's tail. Hold it on. When the pig dove into the mud, the goat kicked over the bucket. When the goat kicked over the bucket, the chicken spun round and round. Can you see what the next animal is going to be? Do you know what that is? When the chicken spun round and round, the horse reared up and neighed. Can you make a horse sound? Let me hear ya. Good. When the horse reared up and neighed, the sheep leaped over a barrel. When the sheep leaped over the, over a barrel, the duck jumped into the pond. Can you see what animal is next? Not to tell you. <laughs> when the duck jumped into the pond, guess what else jumped? The frog hopped onto a lily pad. When the frog hopped onto a lily pad, the dragonfly buzzed across the sky. Okay, now there's two animals here. A squirrel, that looks just like our squirrel, and a dog. Hmm. When the dragonfly buzzed across the sky, the dog woke up and chased the squirrel. <laughs> That's what dogs do.
When the dog woke up and chased the squirrel, the robin flew into the tree. Did you see the robin on the other page? Robin Redbreast, right there. Okay, so then when the robin flew into the tree, like we're gonna start all over again. The leaf flew in. I just want to um, remind you that this Saturday is our next um, pop-up program and it will be at 11 o'clock right the off at the end and it's at um, Tot Lot. I think it's on Atchison in Ohio. <laughs> at least that's where I'm going to be. <laughs> and Miss Andy and I will be there to do the program. So I hope you guys can all join us. We look forward to seeing you there and you'll just have to wait to find out what we're going to do. Okay. So our last story is called, Now It's Fall. For now, oh, excuse me. Come on, friends, gather near. It's the best season of the year. Okay, I believe that because I love fall. For now it's fall, I love it all. All right, we're gonna see how well this works with <laughs> doing it on, ready? Let's see if we can see what happened. I gotta get it to work. Oh my goodness, it's not working. Ah. Goes so well in practice. Okay, here we go. Watch. There we go. <laughs> you see what happened? The tree was full of leaves and now it's losing all of its leaves. In wintertime, the trees are bare. In spring and summer, green leaves are there. But now it's fall. I love it all. So here's the green leaves. I'm just going to pour it down. Might make it easier. Maybe you can see the effect. There we go. Works better in story time. The vines and trees reach to the skies with a berry, apple, or cherry surprise. Now, for now it's fall, I love it all. So here's, he's got some fruit. i make some pies maybe. And then, when you pour it down, that's what she's making. Pies. Put it back up. Okay. In green fields, the hunt begins for perfectly shaped bright orange pumpkins. For now it's fall, I love it all. So there's the pumpkin. What do you think it's going to turn into? Ta-da! <laughs> Look <it> down here. <laughs> here, let's see if we can see it when I pull it up. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. There we go. Oh, we finally got it to work better. <laughs> the magic of books. Okay. And when the autumn crops are done, we come together to share the fun. It's fall, it's fall, I love it all. And do you know what that is? Corn. Last one, let's show everybody that it's gonna work. Oh, here we go. And it becomes corn to eat. There's the table. I think that might be Thanksgiving dinner. So, Thousand Books Before Kindergarten, three books, add them to your list if you're doing it online or if you're doing it with your sheet. Don't forget to come in. For every hundred books, you earn a prize, so you want to come in and get those. Unfortunately, we can't mail them out to you, so those, you can do the keeping track and online or come and get a sheet, but you do need to um, come in to get your prize, okay? So now we got the craft. <laughs> like I said, this isn't the craft program we're going to do until next week, but it all works out. So
So we got a scarecrow here. Okay. So in your kit, you probably have one of these. And the company didn't quite take everything apart. So there's this little piece right here that needs to come off. And of course, this part right here that needs to come off, okay? Everything else is just sticking everything on. So you have all the parts inside your bag. Okay, you have the hat. This is the brim for the hat. And the sunflowers, crows, and the gloves. The hay, <laughs> leaves and the scarf, something to hang it with, the arms, and the directions. <laughs> this stuff is very sticky. I have a hard time doing it, but just be patient. And if you look at the one that I did earlier, I didn't quite line it up right here, but I can take some scissors and I can cut that off and it will be just fine. Okay, so the first thing they tell you to do is um, put the blue shirt on. This is the blue shirt. So you just have to peel this off. It's got the sticky stuff on and remember this stuff is so sticky. If you stick it to something, it's gonna be hard to get it off. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna do one at a time. And I think this one goes on this side my paper. It's sticking to my paper. And just line it up the best you can. Um, see how the, it's around here and it's around here? I would try to line that up and then you could probably cover anything or cut the, the little imperfections out and cover it with, because they seem to give you a lot of straw and they even give you um, a lot of leaves. So just do the best you can. That's what I'm doing, just the best I can. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can. And there's gonna be gaps in it, but I'll deal with that. Okay, there you go. And then I'm gonna put the other side on. Everybody's doing good. I don't know if you're actually back in school or if you're still doing school from home. Remember to read and study hard. It's still school. It's very important. Very important. Okay. So then you've got this flat part here. You put that up at the top and put the brown part at the bottom. And again, just line it up the best you can. You just sort of eyeball it and see which way looks better looks like it's going to fit better okay there we go and then i'm gonna put the gloves on now you can tell how um the gloves go by the picture the gloves are aiming up okay so that's how you know which hand to put it on you wouldn't want to put them with the the thumbs down. So whichever side has the thumbs up is that the side you want to put. And this is coming up for me. Um, put the gloves on. There we go. Sometimes they don't cut it all the way. Thumbs up. So that would go on this side for me. It may not go on this side for you because we're seeing each other as opposites right here. And you just try to line it up. There we go. Thumbs up. Okay, and then I'll take the other one out.
thumbs up. So I'm going to line it up and you're going to overlap one hand with the other. It shows you one way on the picture in the instructions, but do it whatever way you want to do it. And there's also little places that you sort of have to get, match up. Okay. Now one of these little crows goes on the bottom on its arm and then the other one goes on its head. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm probably doing it very, really bad because I'm not really reading the directions, but we only have so much time. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, so I'm going to put the one that goes on that. Arm. Ah, I told you it was sticky. Let me try doing it this way. Ah. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, I'm not gonna put the one on there. Oh, I can go ahead and put it on. I think I'll put the one on the head first, and then that way the hat can go over it. But you decide it the way you want to do it. Okay. So see the outline right here? It sort of looks like the bird. So that's where we're going to put the bird at. Just try to line it up the best you can. It's very sticky. <laughs> you have to slow to come off and then Okay, mine sort of didn't go over perfectly, but I'm good with it. All right, now we want to put on the scarf. I mean, the scarf is orange with the orange leaves. Okay, you just peel it off. I'm sure mom or dad or older brother or sister are helping you. Um, <laughs> they're probably doing better than I am. <laughs> Here's the scarf, or I think they call it a handkerchief or bandana, that's what they call it. Okay, so here's the pointed part right here, that's where you want to line it up, on there. And then the rest will follow. Somebody's trying to come in on my story time. Okay. There. And then I was also able to fix some of the imperfections I was sticking out, so that's good. Okay. Now we want to put this black. Whatever it's called, onto the hat. And I would do this before you put the hat on. So we'll take this off. Just like that. Okay, and we do we do get lots of um, extra, I think, of the straw. So I thought about putting something on there, just and you want to figure out where the hat's going to go. So the hat will go on top here and this will go on there and it actually goes on the hat this way sort of with the curve on the bottom, okay? So you want to stick this piece of straw underneath just a little bit. Get my fingers out of the way. Okay, there, you can see how that works. And then you get the hat, 
and just line it up, not here on the bottom, it doesn't go on the bottom, it goes right here. You can sort of see some wiggles on there and you can sort of try to guide it into that part. about now you can put the hat on. Are you still with me? <laughs> okay. Peel off, peel off, there you go. And of course this even has some stuff on here. But if you notice, you probably have all that you want to put that straw down under here. So the two big pieces that have lots of straw on them. Maybe I'll move this down over here and get it out from all the way. Okay. Doesn't matter which side you put each one on, but just put one on each side. At the end, there's sort of some. In there that you could use to guide yourself a little bit. And then you put the other one that's got the same, about the same size on the other side. Ah. I don't want to rip it, so I always try to be patient. But this step is even stickier than it normally is some of these crafts. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah. Oops, I lost a piece. It happens. It is straw after all. Okay, so then I'll put this on here. And I'll stick this on the best I can. It's going to be covered by the head, or the hat mostly, so it should be alright. Okay, and then, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the head on. I'm trying to follow as much as I can. Just stick with it the way it's supposed to. Okay, you don't wanna push it down too far or too hard because you'll need some more <laughs> of the Draw to stick under the hat. Right at the very top. Sorry. Uh, sometimes I think glue would be better. Because this stuff is sticky on both sides. one of those days. Okay. okay. I'm working on it. Let me stick it down farther. I missed that. I almost got it. <laughs> Sticking it up there. Okay. <laughs> and then we have my flower. And the flower. Looks like it's very busy out there today. right here and so that's where you would cover up some of that so just try to line it up somewhere now you don't want to press it down because just sort of drop it a little bit fingers out from underneath there 
because you have all those orange leaves that you have to fill in. I think this took more than the three stories I read. <laughs> to see pictures on our website, I think Facebook, since I don't get do Facebook, everybody on staff always makes sure that I see it. I'd love to see pictures of your finished project. I'm sure they're very nice. <laughs> and I'm just going to stick some of this under the hair, or the hat, I'm sorry, so that we have more straw. And I'm just going to stick one more on the Is the scarecrow bangs. Okay. Just like that. Oops, it's in the eye, but that's kind of cool. Okay. And uh, we do have some more. I'll put some leaves over on this side. Not quite sure why they gave us so many leaves. It really doesn't use that many on the picture. And these little ones are very sticky, but you all have small hands and so and small fingers, so you probably would get to this stuff easier than I can. Okay. Put it up on this side. Just under your hat a little bit. There we go. Don't have to follow the directions perfectly as far as where everything goes. Okay, now I'm not quite sure what this piece is. I don't see it anywhere in the directions. So I thought you might be able to put your string together and glue it down with that or tape it down. It's just like this little, first I thought it was the nose or something, but I don't see anything and then I haven't Read everything. So just turn it around. Take your string. Put it where you want, how long you need it. If you need it really long, it depends on where you hang it up. On the door, in the window. And put them together so they're together. And then take your orange piece and put it together like that. If that doesn't work, you can get some tape and tape it on, just like that. Okay, so here's my finished product. Let's turn it this way. I think it's cute. It wasn't as easy as I would hope it to be, but just take your time. And remember, if you put it on your own door, you give it to your grandparents, they're going to love it. You guys all have a great day, and I'll see you next week with our craft that we were supposed to do this week. <laughs> so make sure you come and get the supplies, because we only have so many, and you want to make sure you get it. Um, I think you're going to like it. Something different. Not so much sticky stuff. Well, there is some sticky stuff involved not what you think it is. So here we go. We're going to turn off the camera. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I miss you. See you soon.